Today's video is the video that I promised long time ago and this is request from a couple of my subscribers. It's a request from Caroline T and Juliana Lee. Guys, thank you very much for requesting and asking your questions and in today's video I will try to answer those questions. Please stay with me. First and most, thank you very much ladies for requesting um, uh, this video and having your questions. The questions of Caroline T is uh, about wear and tear in six months and I have this bag already for more than six months and Juliana Lee was uh, concerned that um, since this bag has a handle on top when I'm using it per se when the bag let's say on crook of my arm how convenient it's to use when I'm opening or let's say if it's on my shoulder will this actual handle gets on the way of use of the bag Today I'm gonna answer these questions and I'm gonna do also what's in my bag and try to fit several different SLGs and see if it's going to be useful for you. I have my bag in size small and size small for a cocoa handle is roughly about um, size of jumbo I would say it's about 11 and a half inches in the length it just slightly over seven inches in height and it just slightly over four and a half inches in uh, width this bag has a couple of compartments inside let me just open it and show for you guys so that's what's right now inside you can see on top I have just my um, glasses and that's what's inside those compartments so it has two compartments two main compartments and a um, couple of uh, sleep pockets um, one sleep pocket is with the zipper and another couple of sleep pockets in the front compartment it's almost reminiscent of the um, sleep pocket that it's inside the classic bags uh, for the lipstick and for a couple of other items i am almost never use those sleep compartment and to be honest if i would be absolutely honest i wish if they were not there because sometimes they actually even obstructing like you know when i'm trying to put some items inside so Answering the first question of Caroline, I just want to tell you about wear and tear. Note that I'm using this bag, let's say, excessively, but I do use this bag and I love to use this bag. And let me just get closer to the camera. You're going to see the corners and you can see that the corners in absolutely pristine condition. Absolutely pristine condition all over the bag is in absolutely pristine condition and unfortunately in the lights that I have obviously inside my house it doesn't show but on the um, daylight it's slightly iridescent it shimmers like so many different colors it's this bag is absolutely stunning so I would say for the wear and tear I don't see any major wear or tear in six months it looks brine spanking new in my very very humble opinion answering the question of Julian Lee does it get on the way and you can see right now I open that flap and you can see how the handle is actually um, kind of like you know I would say on the way Julian uh, she has like very very valuable point it gets slightly on the way so let's say if I'm having my bag on the crook of my arm that's what I do you can see I'm kind of holding on that uh, handle and I'm holding by the uh, top flap and obviously it's easy access to anything that I have inside so um, when it's on the crook of my arm these handles is actually even useful per se when it's on my shoulder that's when we have a little bit of problems so because obviously it's kind of sticking into my side side rib or whatever the the side of my body that's when we have a little bit of problem for sure so i have to maneuver a little bit more so in this case it's not as practical but otherwise when it's just on the crook of the arm 
no problem whatsoever and usually when i need to actually get something i'm most likely putting on the crook of my arm and do like that so i hope that i answered those uh, questions for those two lovely ladies and let's start is what in my bag and i'm gonna do really quickly the items what i have inside and then i'm gonna try to switch and see what's gonna actually fit inside so right now I have in my bag, obviously my glasses. I have my trusted Victorine wallet. I have this wallet for quite a bit of time. And let me tell you guys, I love it, love it, love it. I absolutely love this wallet. It has gorgeous fuchsia color inside. Um, absolutely in love with this wallet. I even considering to get this one in empreinte leather because I love uh, Louis Vuitton empreinte leather. So this is the item number two. Then I have two uh, extra small SRLG. I have my Kiklay and I have my small uh, Kirigami um, pouch. And in this pouch, I usually keep my extra cards. And it once again has gorgeous fuchsia color. I absolutely in love with, with this fuchsia color, especially in combination with monogram. Love it, love it, love it, love it. So um, the next few items I have over here is my um, earbuds. And I'm putting this in the Samorga pouch. In one of my orders of Samorga, I receive also this little pouch. It's most likely supposed to be for the credit card, but I'm using for my um, earbuds. Very, very practical because it's soft. I have my chewing gum. You know, it's nice to have chewing gum anywhere we go. So we have very, very fresh breath. <laughs> So the next one, I have my uh, cell phone. I don't have any case on my cell phone, but obviously I have this uh, little holder. So it's got, uh, it adds a little bit of bulk to the cell phone. Then I have my six key. once again one of my favorite items from louis vuitton it's absolutely gorgeous i'm thinking i want to get also in fuchsia color it's absolutely gorgeous item use it every every day and the last item that i have inside it's my um old case uh pouch from um chanel and obviously with some of my oops <laughs> And obviously with some of my um, like you know it's as a catch-all with um, flaws for the teeth uh, I have my uh, MAC lipstick I have my Tom Ford lipstick over here uh, some flaws some hair ties etc so um, that's what I have so now bag is absolutely empty and I'm gonna show you a little bit so that's the pouches that I mentioned previously as you can see right there I don't really even like them I wish if they are not there but you know I'm not the designer of this bag and that's the, the second compartment over there and there is a zipper compartment so the bag is right now absolutely empty so this is all the items that I had inside the bag. You can see that it really fits a lot. And I'm not kidding. So this is all the items that I had previously. So let's try something different. What different items can fit inside this bag. There you go. And I even still have some space to put even more items. I mean, I can go on and on, let's say in a state of, um, uh, toilet 15 I can put my mini pochette it will be in the same fashion you can see the mini pochette over there so it fits a lot I'm in absolute love with this bag 
I'm so happy that I actually got this bag and uh, um, in one or so of my videos about my daily outfits I show you guys how I actually um, uh, detach the original strap that comes with the, this um, cocoa handle and I put Louis Vuitton strap and I surprised and it's hooks very very easily because these hooks they look really tiny you think like gee nothing can be hooked on those except for the original strap but no and because it's so black pretty much any color of the hardware any color of the strap uh, will go perfectly and it's perfect because you, uh, you can put any kind of twilly or um, on the handle and you can also add matching um, handle and you will create totally different look I was actually thinking to get um, a Fendi Twilly and Fendi strap and it will also look absolutely perfect um, with the, any Fendi outfit or just you know as I say it's gonna get my Fendi fix for a while I hope guys that you enjoy this video if you have any further questions please do not hesitate I would love to answer or if in some case I didn't answer some of your questions clearly please just put your comments below and I will answer all your questions thank you very much for watching I hope to see you again on my channel please consider subscribing if you haven't subscribed yet and until our next meeting Bye-bye!